When God gives you a dream, he doesn't always tell you the whole story. Ask Joseph, Moses, or any of the apostles. God's plans often start with a simple idea that he wants to grow into something bigger than we can imagine. That's what a faith-based nonprofit in Perryton, Texas is discovering. In previous episodes of From the Heartland, we've shared how believers in this Texas panhandle community have banded together to help its people recover from a devastating tornado last year. The deadly storm resulted in three deaths, destroyed dozens of homes and a significant portion of downtown, and displaced as many as 400 families. Outside aid came rushing in initially, but now it's mostly local organizations and government that continue the recovery work. I believe that as crazy of a ride as it's been to get to where we're at, we're in the right place at the right time to be able to help out in a way that there really wasn't anybody else that could. Meet Jason Vanisdahl. He and his wife Heather are the founders of Carter's Dream Incorporated. For more than two decades, the couple has served Perryton as pastors, missionaries, food bank organizers, and more. Carter's Dream is now helping to build newly constructed homes for tornado victims. Our little charity that never has a budget of $50,000, since June 15th, we've spent over $200,000 in Perryton. But before we get to that, we need to go back to 2006. Jason and his wife were on a trip to Guatemala for the purpose of adopting their first child, Carter. They were struck by the level of poverty and felt God's call to help in some way. On a return trip a few years later, Jason says God showed them how many impoverished Guatemalans have no bed to sleep on. That's when Carter's dream was born. We would go to a village that until we started going there in 2016, they really had not had allowed any outsiders in the village. Um, our Guatemalan contact spent about six months going almost every day before he could really have enough conversations to say, no, this is good people, they'll come in and help. And it gives us an opportunity to pray with families. Now they show up, they come ask us for prayer. Um, they find us in the streets. We take food to all the families we take beds to, we take um, Bibles, we take typically like a fifth grade level Bible, and then toys and some school supplies and hygiene items and stuff. So how did this missions-minded organization get into the home building business? After the tornado, Vanisdahl discovered there were many charity organizations and businesses willing to support rebuilding efforts, but many needed to donate those funds to nonprofits. He says Carter's dream became a perfect vehicle for that task. Are you? I just feel like that God continues to push us towards that we're here to help people. And whatever that looks like, whatever that means, that's what we're here to do. That's what I've done the whole time I've lived here, and now that we're just able to help this way. Carter's Dream is working with Christian Aid Ministries to build four two-bedroom homes. Rotating crews have been in Perryton since the fall and are expected to wrap up their work on the four sites in April. And the houses are turnkey with new appliances. All the recipients will need to bring with them is their furniture. The ministry has also funded 13 roof replacements and other smaller scale remodeling projects. He says the work will continue as long as God provides. I don't know what that means six months from now or a year from now. We did commit to as long as we've got funding that comes in that we will, we will help fund any project that we can for recovery stuff. Jason calls it a for such a time as this moment. And he's thankful God had Carter's dream ready to meet it. Reporting for Great Plains Christian Radio, I'm Delvin Kinser.